Seasonal Affective Disorder, also known as Seasonal Depression, affects nearly 10 million Americans. It's four times more common in women than men, but can hit anyone at any time, especially during the fall and winter seasons. 1011 Now's Camry Silva is in the studio with warning signs to look out for Camry. Bill Kelsey, today was chilly, it was pretty gray, and we didn't really get a peak of sunshine at all. Unfortunately, it's just the start of that. This change, professionals say, can make seasonal depression sink in. But people shouldn't ignore it. Experts say seek out and get the help you may need. Seasonal depression, or what professionals call seasonal affective disorder, can affect any and everybody. It doesn't discriminate across age or race or gender or sexual orientation or anything. Everyone deals with it. In fact, nearly 5% of Americans deal with seasonal depression. Doctors say it can last for 40% of the year. When the weather is darker or not as sunny, um, Sometimes it happens because we can't get outside as much. Uh, we don't get exposed to the outdoors. We're not as active. So what should you do? The best thing to do is to reach out and to tell somebody else that you're having these feelings or that you're having negative thoughts so that you can have somebody else to bounce ideas off of, somebody else to help um, validate what you're feeling and what you're going through. The holiday season is also quickly approaching and for people grieving loved ones, the next few months may be hard to get through. This person is still emotionally with me and how can I keep this in a positive light? A lot of times when we are working in therapy, we'll, we'll take them to those more positive places. Now, places like Parallels Counseling offers in-person therapy sessions. Brian Health also has the option for a free anonymous mental health screening. We have a link to both of those resources on our website.